and Mara, they will be doing a vinyasa flow practice. Nash is going to be practicing with me today. So get started today on your backs with your knees bent up and your feet planted. And let your arms just rest alongside the body. And again, you can have your palms either resting onto the body or alongside the body just as you start finding that grounded energy. And we'll start just taking a few rounds of deep breath together, big full breath in through the nose and through the mouth, let it go. And again, full breath in through the nose, through the mouth, sigh it out. And one more full breath in, and through the mouth, let it all go. And from here, we'll start to mobilize our arms and our shoulders in connection with the breath. So on your next inhale, reach your arms all the way up and back behind you. Stretch your fingers back with the palms facing up. And as you exhale, sweep your arms back up towards the sky and feel yourself firmly pressing your palms back down onto the earth. And do that a couple more times. Inhale, reaching the arms up and back. Feel the way the chest opens up, the mid back lifts a little bit off of your mat. And then exhale, press the arms down, hug your core in, feel the core working with you. One more with the breath. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and back. And then stay here, start to lift your hips up so you're in a bridge position with your hips lifted up, your arms stretching back. Keep your knees about hip distance apart. Try to keep them from splaying out to the sides too much. Keep your arms reaching back. Keep your hips lifted up. Stay with your breath, full breaths in and out. Bring your arms back down alongside the body, still keeping your hips lifted. You can stay right here, pressing the palms down into the mat, or maybe you wiggle your shoulder blades underneath you, lace up the fingers. Do this bridge pose, feel the openness through the chest, press the upper arms and shoulders into the mat, and steady breaths. You can tuck your chin towards your chest to stretch the back of the neck. And if you have the hands interlaced, release the fingers, unroll the shoulders, gently roll all the way down the spine. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And just release the lower back. You can gently rock side to side. Bring your hands behind your knees. Start to rock forward and back. And we're going to come all the way up to seated. And come up to seated. Cross your legs. You can roll over your knees. Or sweep the legs to one side. Come into your tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. Cow and cat with the breath. Inhale, heart forward. Let your belly drop. Exhale, press the earth away, round up through the spine. Continue with the breath, inhale, opening up across the chest. Exhale, press the earth away, round up through the spine. And continue with the breath, moving with the inhale, moving with the exhale. And come back to your neutral spine. So core is hugging in. Try to keep your shoulders balanced and just reach your right arm out towards the right with your palm facing down. And keep pressing into your left palm. Keep your palm and keep your core hugging in. And steady breaths here. And then on your next inhale, reach your right arm all the way up towards the sky. Feel your shoulders stack open. And then sweep your right arm underneath the body over towards the left side with your palm facing up. Land your right shoulder and right side of your head onto the mat. You can press into your left palm to deepen this twist. Stretch into the upper back, the back of your right shoulder. And keep grounding into your left palm. Press back onto your right palm. Come up high onto your fingertips. Different version of cat cow. High onto the fingertips. Open through the heart space. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rounding up through the spine. Just do this two more times. When we get higher onto the fingertips, Sometimes it just gives you that extra space, especially in the upper back, to feel the stretch. And plant both of your palms back down. Now keep your right palm grounded. Reach your left arm out towards the left side, palm facing down, and steady breaths. Press firmly into your right palm. And feel the strength of the body, feel the core working. And on your next inhale breath, Turn your chest towards the left, reach your left arm up towards the sky, stack the shoulders open. And as you exhale, sweep your left arm underneath you over towards the right. Press your left shoulder, left side of the head back down onto the mat. 
Use a few rounds of breath here. You can press the palm into the earth. Feel the stretch across the upper back. And ground in into the right palm. Ground in into the left palm. Come back into your all fours. Scoop both of your hands just a little bit forward of the shoulders. A couple of inches. Inhale, heart forward, belly drops. And then exhale, ground up through the spine and breathe here, rounding up through the spine, full breaths in and out. So you keep the spine rounded, tuck your toes, lift the hips up and back and feel your spine lengthen as you press the legs straight, press the hips up and back to your downward dog. And feel free to pedal your feet out in your downward dog. And inhale to lift the heels high. Bend the knees, take your gaze forward, walk, step, or float your feet up to your hands, all the way back up to your forward fold at the top of our space. Inhale, lifting up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, folding back down. And rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhaling, hands to the heart space. And moving with the breath, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank position. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward. Exhale, lower slowly all the way to the belly. Try to lower down all in one piece. Toes point back, hands by lower ribs. Inhale, rise to Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, gently release the chest back down. Two more times, inhale, lifting through the heart. Exhale, gently release. And on this third round, your choice, cobra keeping the elbows bent. If you're ready for upward dog, press the arms straight, float the thighs off the mat. Tuck your toes as you exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Steady full breaths in and out. And inhale to lift the heels high, bend the knees, gazing forward, walk, step or float it up to the top. Rise with your inhale, flat spine. Exhale, deep fold back down. Rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top. Exhale, hands to heart space. Couple more rounds of Surya A. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, pressing the earth away to your back bend. And exhale, lifting the hips all the way up and back to your downward. Walk, step or float up to the top. Rising up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold it back down. And all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top. Exhaling, hands to heart space. One more round together, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale, step or float it back, vinyasa. Inhale, rising to your back bend. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back up to your forward fold, inhale and lift. Exhale, fold it back down and rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And feet together or hip distance if you prefer. Utkatasana chair pose, bend your knees, sweep the arms up and sit back. And as you exhale, just place your hands on your lower back. You can have your fingers pointing down or fingers pointing up. And with your inhale, open through the chest and draw your shoulders back. Draw your elbows back as well. So really puffing out the chest, take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, fold forward, lace up your fingers, draw your knuckles up and overhead. Come up halfway with a flat spine. Direct your knuckles to the back of your space. So drawing the knuckles back. And then exhale, fold it back down. Take a big step back with your left foot so you're in this lunge. And sweep your right arm up to the sky, turning your chest open. And wrap your right arm all the way behind your back, finding this little half bind. And from here, take your right arm, stretch it all the way forward alongside the ear. Take it down to the ground and take your right leg up to the sky, three-legged downward dog. Bring your right knee to your right shoulder or tricep. 
Inhale, extend it back. Then cross your knee over to the outside of the left arm. Inhale, extend it back. And step your foot down to your mat. Shift forward to plank. Look through your breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing the earth away. Lifting through the heart into your back bend. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And without dragging your hands, walk your hands all the way back towards your feet, coming to your forward fold at the back of your space. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. And then all the way up to standing, sweeping the arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Coming back to your chair pose, bending your knees, sitting back, keep your core hugging in, hands to the low back. And again, you can point your fingertips down or point your fingertips up. And find that openness across the chest. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows back. Look at puffing out through the chest here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, fold forward. And as you fold forward, lace up your fingers. Draw your knuckles up and overhead. Rise up halfway. And draw your knuckles towards the back of our space. It's fun to have a tiny bend in the knees, so we're not stressing out the hamstrings. And take one more inhale. And as you exhale, start to fold forward. Walk it forward into your plank position. Vinyasa or downward dog. And take your left leg all the way up and back. And step it through between your palms. Then keep your right palm grounded. Take your left arm. Twist it open up towards the sky. Shoulder stack open. Keep your right leg pressing straight. And wrap your left arm behind you into your half bind. Feel your chest opening up, shoulders draw down the back away from the ears. And take your left arm, stretch it all the way forward alongside the ear again. Set it down to the ground, take your left leg up towards the sky, three-legged downward dog. Left knee to the left shoulder, tricep. Inhale, extend it back. Cross it over to the outside of the right arm. Inhale, extend it back. And step your left foot down onto your mat. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Lower slow, chaturanga. Rise up to your back, bend open through the heart. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And take a full breath in. And sigh out through the mouth, let it go. And walk, step or float your feet all the way up to your hands. Coming back up to your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down, and rise all the way to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the back. Exhale, bring your hands down in front of the heart space. From here, inhale, sweeping the arms up, lift up through the body. Exhale and fold forward. Rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, step it back or float it back. Move through your vinyasa. Rise up on your inhale. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Inhale the right leg up and back, about hips height. Knee to chest, knee to nose. Pause here, rounding the spine up, pressing the earth away. And stay with your breath, make sure you're breathing. See if you can touch your knee all the way to the nose as you round up through the chest. And lightly step your foot all the way through between your palms. Make sure that your feet are set up about hip distance apart. And start to float your chest above your front thigh. Sweep your arms back alongside the body. Stack your right knee directly over the heel. And then take your hands and lace up your fingers behind the back. Opening up through the chest. And steady breaths here. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. And bring your chest all the way upright. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Into your high crescent. Shoulders stack over the hips. Belly hugging in. One more inhale, maybe touch your palms and gaze up. And we'll float it open to warrior two. Spin your back heel down, turn your chest open, and take your arms up to a T. And again here, knee is stacked over the heel, chest is open, grounded through both feet. And flip your right palm to face up. Reach it back to reverse warrior, nice long stretch back. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm to the thigh or hand to the ground or to a block. And take your left arm, extend it all the way alongside the ear. Feel your chest wrapping open. And steady breath in and out. And flowing with the breath, inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. Long stretch back. 
Exhale, extend this right angle. Take your left arm all the way alongside the ear. And one more inhale, stretching back to reverse warrior. And press your right leg straight. So now we're in a reverse triangle pose. Inhale, bring your chest upright, arms up so T shift forward through the body. Let your right hand land onto the ground or a block or onto your mat or onto your chin. Shoulders stack. Trikonasana, triangle pose. One more reverse, bending into the front knee, scooping the arms and chest all the way up and back. And take your hands down to your mat, plant your palms down, step it back to plank position, lower through slow chaturanga. Inhale, press on the earth away. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Inhale, your left leg up and back. Knee to chest, knee to nose, pressing the earth away, rounding up through the spine. Pause here, breathe here. Feel the core working. Can you tuck your knee to the nose? And then lightly step your foot all the way through between your palms. Once again, feel your feet set up hip distance apart. Keep the back heel lifted. Float your chest up, reach your arms back alongside the body. Take your hands, lace up your fingers behind the back, and try the other pinky on top. Step your left knee over the heel, lengthening forward through the heart. And steady breaths, feel the strong core, feel the power in the legs. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, bringing the chest upright and sweeping your arms up alongside the ears, back up to your high crescent. Stacking your shoulders over your hips, strong through the core. One more inhale breath, maybe touching your palms or gazing up. Open up to your warrior two, spin your back heel down and float your arms up to T. And flip your left palm to face up, stretch it back to reverse warrior. One more inhale breath, exhale extended side angle. Take your right arm, stretch it all the way forward alongside the ear. Find that nice long stretch from the back heel all the way through the fingertips. And floating with the breath, inhale, reach it back, reverse. Legs stay in the same shape. Exhale, extended side angle. Take your top arm, stretch it all the way forward. One more reverse. And then start to press your left leg straight. And reverse triangle. Inhale, bring your chest up right. Arms out to a T, shift forward through your left fingertips. And bring your left fingertips to the shin, to the ground, or to a block. Stack your shoulders open. And feel the length from the tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. Both legs are straight and strong. And start to re-bend into your left knee. Circle your chest and arms back to reverse. One more breath. Hands to your mat. Plant your palms down, step it back to plank position. Do your vinyasa, release. Inhale to press up. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back to your forward fold at the top. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold back down. Rise all the way to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart. Back to chair pose. Bend your knees, sweep the arms up, sitting back. And as you exhale, hands to the lower back. Press your palms down. Inhale, open through the chest, lift up through the heart space. Exhale, fold forward, lace up your fingers, knuckles come up and overhead. And bring your fingertips down to the mat, rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, step it back or float it back, vinyasa. Vinyasas are always optional. You can always go straight into your downward dog. And back to that flow, inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your foot through between your palms. Rising up to your high crescent, sweep up through the arms to the chest. Exhale, open up to your warrior two. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reach it back to reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Reverse triangle, inhale, reaching your chest and arms back, press your right leg straight. And bring yourself upright and shift into your trikonasana triangle pose. Pause here, feel the length, feel the openness. In this round, 
If you want to try for a different arm variation, take your hands behind your back, lace up your fingers, drag your knuckles towards the back of your space, and open up through the chest. And steady breath wherever you are. And again, rebend into your right knee, release the lacing of the fingers back to reverse warrior. Hands circle down to your mat. Press it back to plank. Vinyasa. Or straight back into your downward dog. On the left side, inhale the left leg up and back. Knee to chest, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Rise up to your high crescent, scoop up through the arms, lifting up through the chest. And exhale, open it up to your warrior two. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle, take your top arm, stretch it all the way alongside the ear. Again, inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach it back to reverse triangle. So start Press your left leg straight. Inhale, bring your chest upright and shift forward through your left fingertips. Let your fingertips come down to the shin, the ground or a block, stack your shoulders open. Feel the heart lengthening, the spine lengthening. And on this side again, option to take your hands, lace up the fingers behind your back. Draw the knuckles towards the back of the space and keep your chest wrapping open, shoulders stacked. And steady full breaths in and out. If you have the fingers interlaced, let that release. And softly bend into your left knee. Circle your chest and arms all the way back to reverse warrior. Take your hands back down to your mat with your exhale. Step back to plank position. Slowly lower chaturanga. Press the earth away. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, lift the hips up and back to your downward dog. And take a full breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. You can stay here in your downward dog. This is also a nice time to let your knees rest down, chip your hips back towards your heels, rest your forehead and forearms into your child's pose. And take one more full breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. Start to rise up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up and back, three-legged downward dog. Knee to chest, step it all the way through between your palms. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, rise up to your high crescent, lifting up through the arms, through the chest, through the fingertips. As you exhale, take your hands to the lower back. And again, from here, press into the lower back. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows back. Lift up through the heart space. And then as you exhale, take your chest forward. Lace up your knuckles behind you. We're going to lift to a warrior three. Press your right leg straight. Float your left leg up. And try to keep your hips balanced. And this time you need to turn your left hip down a little bit. And steady full breaths in, full breaths out. And take one more inhale back and softly lower back to your crescent. Bend into your right knee softly. Plant the ball of the left foot down. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Open up to your warrior two. Chest open towards the left side. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And then smooth and steady, Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Right fingertips in front of your right foot. Lift your left leg up. Stack your shoulders open. Stack your hips open. Flex your left foot towards the sidewall. Try to get light on your right fingertips if you can. And steady breath. And big step back to reverse warrior, nice and smooth. One more inhale breath. Circle your hands all the way down to your mat, plant your palms, step it back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, rising up to your back bend. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And tip the left leg up and back. Knee to chest, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Rise up to high crescent, lifting up through the arms, through the fingertips. And as you exhale, hands to the low back. And again, find that little squeeze open through the chest. 
squeeze your shoulders and elbows back, lift up through the heart space. Lace up your fingers, other pinky on top, draw your heart forward. Keeping the legs and the core strong, start to float your right leg up, warrior three. Shoulders and hips in line, reaching back through the heel, reaching forward through the crown of the head, steady full breath in and out. Take one more inhale, lengthening. Exhale, big step back, high crescent, plant the ball of the right foot down, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Open up to your warrior two. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And nice and steady, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left fingertips about a foot in front of your left foot. Use a block if you need. And try to stack your shoulders open, stack your hips open, keep your right foot flexed. And again, see if you can challenge yourself to get lighter on your left fingertips, less dependent on those fingertips. Feel expansion across all of your limbs. Take one more inhale breath. And exhale, big step back. Reverse warrior, plant your feet down. Let the chest, the arms reach all the way back. One more inhale breath. And circle your hands all the way down towards your mat. Step it back to plank. Move through your vinyasa or straight into your downward dog. Similar flow, adding another option from here. Inhale your right leg up and back. Knee to chest, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Drive up to your high crescent, sweeping up through the arms, through the chest. And exhale, hands to the lower back. Inhale, open up through the chest, squeeze your shoulders and elbows back. And this time as you exhale, you can take that version of your hands interlaced behind you. Maybe you take your hands and touch them together behind your heart into a reverse prayer position. You can hold on to your wrists or anywhere along your forearms or maybe elbows. Open up through the chest and go to a space where you can avoid doing this, where you're rounding your shoulders in. You want to be able to keep your chest open. And then into a version of your warrior three with that bind behind the back. Opening up across the collarbones, feel the shoulders draw back, feel the elbows draw back. And back to your high crescent. Plant the ball of the foot down, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky, float it open to your warrior three. And this time, straighten your right knee, reach both arms overhead, Exhale, as you re-bend into your right knee, take your hands and lace up your fingers behind the back. Lean your chest back, point your knuckles towards your front foot like a reverse warrior, keeping your hands interlaced behind you. And then from here, float your chest towards the front of our space. Still keeping your shoulders open, knuckles point towards your back foot. Reach it back to reverse warrior, circling the right arm all the way up and back. And then into your half moon, right fingertips onto the mat. Lift your left leg, lift your left arm up. And big step back, reverse warrior. And take your hands all the way down to the mat. Plant your palms down. Step it back to plank. Roll or slow. Inhale, rising up. And lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And lift the left leg up and back. And step it all the way through between your palms. Rise on your inhale back to your high crescent, sweeping up through the arms, lifting up through the fingertips. Take your hands to the lower back as you exhale. Inhale, open up through the chest. And with your chest up right, hug your core in. And then go for that same bind of the arms behind you, whether you lace up your fingers, reverse namaste, or some type of modification in between. And again, just doing the work to keep your chest open, keep your shoulders from rounding forward with a strong core, lean your heart forward, and float your back leg up into your warrior three. And steady, full breath. And then softly bend into your left knee, plant the ball of the right foot back down, 
Release the arms, circle your arms back up towards the sky. Open up to your warrior two. And then straighten your left knee, reach both arms up. Exhale, re-bend into your left knee. Take your hands, lace up your fingers behind you. Bring in your chest back, reverse warrior. Bring your chest forward, knuckles point towards your back foot. Release the lacing of the fingers. Reach your right, left arm all the way towards the back of our space. And back into your half moon, left fingertips down, right arm reaches up, right leg reaches up. And shoulders open, chest open. And focus your balance, focus on your breath, find steadiness. Even if you wobble in this pose, just staying steady through the mind. Softly bending into your left knee, big step back, reverse warrior. And circle your hands all the way back down to the earth, step it back to plank position. And bring your feet together in your plank. And start to roll to the outer edge of your left leg, keeping your left palm grounded into your side plank, Vashisthasana. Shoulders, staff, hip step. So you can always do this version. You can stagger your feet if you'd like. You can always modify with your left knee grounded. So if you have your feet stacked or staggered, see if you want to take this version where you float your right leg up. Bend this knee, step it off behind you, off of the mat, and then lift the hips, lift the heart into wild thing. And take your right arm back up towards the sky. Take your right hand down to the ground and take your right leg all the way up and back. And then cross your knee over towards the left arm you're going to come into fallen triangle. Extend your right leg over towards the left. Drop your left heel. Sweep your left arm up towards the sky. Hips lift high. Take your left arm stretch it alongside the ear. And slowly bring your left hand to the ground. Knee to the chest. Step it all the way through between your palms. Spin your left heel down. Heels line up or feet a little wider. Rise facing forward up to warrior one. So feel your hips point forward, chest point forward. Your back toe is grounded, stacking your right knee over the heel. And on your last inhale here, maybe you touch your palms and gaze up. And exhale, hands back down to the earth, step it back to plank position. Lower slow chaturanga. Inhale, pressing the earth away. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And feet together at the back of our space. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot or any modified version of plank. Stack your shoulders open. And if you went for this version on the other side, float your left leg up. Bend your left knee, step it off the mat towards the side, lift the hips, lift the heart, find the openness through the chest. Take your left arm back up towards the sky. And that way, set it back down. Take your left leg up and back, back to your three-legged downward dog. And then cross your left knee over to the outside of the right arm. Fall in triangle. Extend your left leg out towards the right. Drop your right heel down. Sweep your right arm up to the sky. And take your top arm. Stretch it forward alongside the ear. If hips lift up high. And bring your left hand back down to the mat. Hug your left knee into the chest. Step it all the way through. Back heel spins down, rise up to where you want, hips point forward, chest points forward. Let the shoulders be soft, find grounding through the feet. Last inhale, breath, maybe touch palms overhead. Exhale, hands to your mat, step it back to plank. Lower and slow. Pressing the earth away, inhale to your back bend. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. And take another full breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And gently lower your knees down. Bring your hips back towards the heels. You can sit up onto your heels with your toes tucked or your feet flat. And with your inhale, Reach your arms up towards the sky, lace up your fingers overhead. Press the palms to face up towards the sky here. 
And then as you exhale, press your palms forward, round through the back. Draw your chin in towards your chest. I'm going to do that a couple more times. Inhale, lifting the chest up right. Reach the palms up, lift the chest up. Exhale, pressing your palms forward. Press the chin towards your chest, round through the upper back. And just one more with the breath. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, rounding the spine forward. Inhale, coming back up right. Put your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart. Soften through the face, through the shoulders. Feel free to let your eyes relax, close for a grounded moment here. Take a full breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. If you had your eyes closed, gently open them back up. And we're going to come to seated. And just shift your hips to one side so you can take the legs all the way out in front of you. And on your inhale back, extend your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Use your hands to gently press yourself back up to seated. And so right towards the middle of your mat, you can bend your knees up for support, planting your feet as you start to roll all the way down onto your spine. Feet planted, knees bending up. So set up your feet and knees about hip distance apart. Just as we started, feet parallel, toes pointing forward, bring your arms alongside the body. And on your inhale, into your bridge pose, press into the arms and feet to lift your hips up off of your mat. If you like, you're trying to point your knees straight forward. Keep the back of your head and neck grounded onto the earth. And prevent your knees from splaying open out too wide. Just work on keeping them about hip distance apart. You can stay here. Maybe wiggle your shoulder blades underneath you and lace up your fingers. Steady breath. Release the lacing of the fingers, unroll the shoulder blades, softly roll back down the spine. Lower your hips back down onto the mat, feel that grounding. And then bend your elbows, feel the backs of the arms press into the earth. And the palms are facing towards each other. Fingers are pointing up towards the sky. So keep this grounded energy through the backs of the arms around the tricep area, pressing down into the earth. Lift up into your bridge pose again, pressing into the feet, pressing into the upper arms. Feel like you can open up through the chest a little bit more. And maybe wiggle your shoulder blades closer towards each other. Breath here. And gently start to release. And rolling your shoulder blades. Slowly rolling down the spine, lowering your hips back down onto your mat. And relax your arms down alongside the body. And just one more round of back bend. You can always make this more restorative by sliding a block or some other type of prop, even a pillow or a folded up towel underneath your hips. So on your next inhale, lifting up through the hips into your version of a bridge pose. It can be more restful. You want to take it a little bit more active. Hands by your head on the outside of the ears. You can see your fingers pointing towards your shoulders. Hug your elbows into the width of the shoulders and start to come to the crown of the head. And again, from here, hug your elbows in. And then if you can keep your elbows hugging in, start to lift your chest up, pressing the legs towards straight, pressing into the palms, into your full wheel pose. And steady breaths wherever you are. And whichever back bend you're in, coming down just the same way that you came, nice and gentle with control. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock side to side. Happy baby, separating through the knees. Flex the feet, stack your heels over the knees and fold the outer edges of the feet. You can rock side to side, gently here. And bring your knees 
knees back in towards your chest. And go for a twist, taking your knees over towards the left side. Take your chest open, arms can spread out, and you can gaze over your right shoulder. Gently bring your head and your knees back through center. You can twist in the opposite way, knees over towards the right. You can look over your left shoulder. You can look over your left shoulder. And feel your body getting heavier and more relaxed. Starting to enter this restful part of your practice. your head, bring your knees back up through center, hug your knees in towards your chest. And last little squeeze, find gratitude for your body. And relax your arms down, relax your feet down, finding your most comfortable rest for Shavasana. Legs can be extended, you can bend the knees up, you can bring the bottoms of the feet to touch, bring the knees open up towards the sky. Before I do this rest, just one more full breath in through the nose and through the mouth, let it go. invite you to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like and as long as you need. And if you're ready to close up your practice, take another full breath in through the nose, and through the mouth, let everything go. And for keeping your eyes relaxed, close on your next inhale, reach your arms all the way back behind you, extend your legs forward if they're not already. And find that nice long stretch throughout the arms, legs, fingers, and toes. And start to gently bend your knees up, roll over onto your favorite side for your fetal position. And as you're ready, gently press into your hands and arms to come up to seated into a meditation seat. And put your palms in front of the heart space. Find gratitude for taking time to practice self-care and self-love. Take another full breath in through the nose, and through the mouth, side out, let it go. And thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.